So the doc point we've been asked to explain is um, doc point 1.2, which states, identify the industrial source of ethylene from the cracking of some of the fractions from the refining of petroleum. So there's one word over here that you guys should be familiar with, which is cracking. Um, and cracking just basically means the um, breaking down of a large hydrocarbon into smaller hydrocarbons. Okay, and as you guys recall, I just defined what cracking is. Um, and there are two types of cracking. The first one is thermal cracking and basically what this means is that when you crack a hydrocarbon using a lot of heat. Um, the second one is catalytic cracking. This is when you when you use a less heat than thermal cracking, however you still use a catalyst to, to lower the um, activation energy for the reaction to start. As I mentioned before there are two types of cracking. One is thermal and one is um, catalytic. This one is the thermal one. So, um, in order to thermally crack a hydrocarbon, in this case C10H22, what we need to do is use steam. Now, it's not just normal steam, we use steam at the temperature of 750 degrees, which I didn't write over there, but anyway. Um, so basically what you do is that you put it down through something called a pyrolysis coil. Pyrolysis coil. And so you put the decane in along with the steam, and this coil is really long, it's not just like a couple centimeters like on the board. But yeah, it's it's pretty long, and what happens is that it'll um break the bonds between the decane, and it'll break it evenly. And basically, what happens when it breaks it evenly is that it forms two pentyl radicals. So as you can see over here, the red carbons are the radicals, so they're very reactive. So yeah, that's basically what it produces. And and then over here for number one and number two, this is um the first uh pentyl radical and this is the second pentyl radical. Um, after a while they will just basically decompose and they will form two products. They will form ethylene and they will form a propyl radical. Yep, and a propyl radical. Um, and this is the same for the second one. Uh, as you know the ethylene is what we basically want so that will just be extracted. And then after a while the propyl radical 1 and propyl radical 2 will combine as you can see over there and once they combine they will form something called hexane which is something that isn't reactive and keep in mind that the only reason the proper radical 1 and proper radical 2 will actually react is because of is, is because of the radical over there so basically both need one more electron so what they do is that they um, connect and, and then they just share Okay, and this is the final type of cracking. Um, this is called catalytic cracking, and this involves a zeolite catalyst and 500 degrees of heat. So as you can see, 250 degrees have been replaced by a catalyst, the zeolite catalyst. Um, so basically how this works is that inside one zeolite catalyst, you have a decane molecule, as you can see over here. And then what this basically does is that with the heat, it'll break the bonds. But however, this it won't form any radicals. It'll do it a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. So basically what it'll produce is ethylene, which is um, something that we can use to make plastics and to make solvents. And uh, another thing called octane, which can be used to fuel cars. And yep, that's it for the dot point. Um, yeah, bye.